Angela serving her sea trout on a warm artichoke salad. She's peeled whole violet artichokes to reveal the heart and pan fried them. Have you got a bit of bay leaf? Are you going to lend me a bay leaf? Yeah. Oh my God, it's like a piece something offering. She's added onions, carrots, fennel, and garlic. Just going to deglaze them with a touch of white wine. Are you keeping that veg as a garnish as well or not? I am going to use it as a garnish. Playing David to Angela's Goliath, Bryn's slinging another local ingredient into his fish course, Welsh cockles. He's mm. determined to outdo his more experienced rival. And these are your cockles. cockles. They're going in out of fashion quite often. Mussels are in fashion at the moment. So I like cockles. They're a little bit different. And basically, they're nice white ones. They're great. So you're going to cook them in a very fine wine, I see. Very, very fine oh, wine. Yeah, a nice bit of Chablis. No, okay. no, no. Well, if you can't drink it, you shouldn't really cook with it, you see, so... That's true. So you're going to cook them in much the way, same way as you do mussels? Mussels, yeah, but I just want the, the, the juice to be really, really pure of cockles. So I'm just going to put a few bay leaves, white wine, in a very, very hot pan, lid on top, 30 seconds a minute, they'll all open up, mm -hmm. and we strain them off, separate the juice, and right at the end, a bit of a creme fraiche in the liquid, and we make a bit of a foamy cappuccino cockle sauce. You better stand back now, Jim. I've only ever had them, I think, um, you know, done in... Woo! They're going to take a minute maximum, so nice and hot, they don't go chewy. Have you got to be careful um, that if, if they don't open, they might be bad? If they don't open, get rid of them. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. same thing as so mussels, yeah. You've got to be very, very careful with uh, shellfish. Yeah. You're not worried by what Angela's been saying, that it's a little bit of a complicated dish, this? It's quite busy. Um, I just don't think Angela understands what I'm doing, really. She, ah. she hasn't really got a classic background. You'd never met Angela before. Obviously, you no. knew about her. What do you think of her now you met her? She's not as scary as what you think she's going to be. She has not got a bit of a quite nice all. I'm actually quite a decent sort of human no, being. On people this think planet. you're going to be scary. I did. Yeah. I wouldn't want to mess with her. I did actually. get a letter from yeah. my mum that just said, Dear Angela, stop swearing. Love mum. See? And that was it. <laughs> So you're a wee bit worried you might be behind after yesterday's start. Yeah, I wasn't too pleased the way I dressed it, but I hope we can play with that. You can play with that. You go some with this one. So Bryn admits he might be playing catch-up after yesterday's starter course. But does that mean the unofficial underdog is ready to throw in the towel? I think her dish did look better. It did it taste as good, just as good as mine, but it did look better to the eye. So it all depends what the judge is looking for. So if they're going on presentation alone, yeah, she might have won that one. But on the ingredients and the on taste, I think it's quite level, quite equal.